friends from Conquer Challenge and the members of the Federation. No? Uh, good noon. Uh, kaibigan from, uh, from media. Um, I have a short PowerPoint presentation. The, um, we represent the Federation. It is a, it is a national sports association on obstacle sports in the Philippines. And right now, we are the NSA recognized by the Philippine Sports Commission and by the Philippine Olympic Committee. And by the newly designated General Council of the Philippine Olympic Committee. So our federation is part of the Asian Federation. We were actually the ones who formed the federation. And uh, we are part of the World Federation. It's the International Federation of which I'm the, the treasurer. Um, during last January, we had our first Asian event here at, 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 at Ashana, where we had uh, 10 countries represented in the first ever Asian obstacle course race, sponsored by the International Federation, the Continental Confederation, and the Philippine Federation. Here's some photos of, uh, of the event. No? Um, please do not, do not feel uh, that you cannot overcome because um, for the event this coming May, we will have, uh, for obstacles, there would be the easy, the moderate, and the difficult. It all depends on the organizer what types of obstacles they would want. If you look at the lower right, we even have laser pistol. Um, the objective here is to, to, uh, to shoot, using the laser, um, a target five times within 50 seconds. We have a lot of walls, we have a lot of ropes, we have a lot of... Uh, um, monkey bars. There are several variations of monkey bars. So like life, uh, there are uh, various ways by which you conquer and overcome obstacles. Next slide. And here are some of our events. We've only, only been in existence for the past 14 months and we have done so much. And we have uh, the members of uh, the Conquer Challenge and POSF are here. Uh, no one can do this on his own or on their own. Uh, we've had, uh, we organize sports fests. There will be one for Ayats. We do our training at the, at the Optimal Sports Factory. We already launched our university challenge. And uh, we go around malls. Uh, we will soon have our own race and obstacles in Taiwan and Hong Kong, together with Conquer Challenge. So there are a lot of opportunities. Uh, by the way, internationally, the Federation feels that the next stop the trend for OCR will be in Asia, and luckily for us, uh, in the Philippines. Uh, last year, uh, this event was organized by the Federation itself, but this coming May, it will now be organized by Conquer Challenge together with Alliance. Uh, last year, we had around 800 runners. It was a five kilometer stretch at Makindi West, where in there were 20 uh, obstacles. Next slide. This is the first Asian event, uh, again, participated in by 10 countries. And the day after the event, we had the International Congress, the fourth Congress of the World OCR was held in here in the Philippines. We have this factory uh, where everybody is uh, invited to train, including media. We'd like you to, to, uh, to try out the obstacles. Um, we have around 40 to 50 obstacles in the factory from easy, moderate, difficult. Some of the obstacles you can, uh, we have obstacles wherein it encourages team building. We help each other out, conquer and overcome the, overcome the obstacles. We have a kids section. We will soon have our kids boot camp. And by the way, Conquer Challenge will have its own kids course. We'd like to promote OCR, obstacle sports, as a cross-training sport. We're in for football, for basketball, for volleyball, for rugby, for tennis. By the way, these NSAs have been to the factory and they're training now at the factory again as part of their training. Most recent uh, obstacle that we have fabricated in the factory would be our warp wall, waste wall. 8, 10, 12. The objective is to reach the top. Next week, uh, we will have, we have a lot of events next week. Uh, together with the Alliance Team Building, we will have a program with, uh, for kids for New Life. It's a Christian church. 
We will have, we will be, our obstacles will be at BGC. And on April 15, we will have a two-in-one project, the first stage of race by the Ateneo. And in the afternoon, ho hopefully all athletes, Philippine athletes by our NSAs will attend the first ever POC NSA competition, obstacle sports. It will be at the Ateneo Blue Eagle Gym. There will be an individual event and there will be a team event. So hopefully you'll see the, leader, the officers and athletes of uh, the various NSAs. And um, again, this is uh, another project we're in. Uh, Alliance will be partnering with us, the Federation. Uh, this will be for all law students of the Ateneo Law School, where I teach. Uh, sorry, ako, ako po yung uh, nasa gitna. Uh, nagpapalakas po yung mga sudyante ko sa akin. So, the, the, the four all uh, law school students of the Ateneo will be competing in what they call the House Cup. That will be in the morning of April 15 at the Ateneo Blue Young Gym. And Allianz will be is our part. Thank you, Allianz. Next. Uh, oh, this is the race, and again, uh, I think Rob will explain this in greater detail. Uh, the first ever Tough Mother. Uh, this is an untimed event, obviously full of mud. You can only overcome the obstacles with your friends. There are there, there will be no medals. So again, uh, hope we'll invite, we're inviting everyone hopefully to join to join this event. This will be ju in July. Next. Uh, hopefully, this coming June, we will have our permanent factory where you can train, where we all can train. It will be housed in uh, 1,300 square meter area at the BGC. And uh, 100 obstacles with the racetrack and a kid section. Next. We will have the first ever World University and first ever World Youth Obstacle Challenge at SMO Arena this coming November 13. Two world events. Uh, reminder lang po, put your phones in uh, silent mode or buy another phone. That's all. Our vision is for the sport to be part of the Olympics, to be part of the Asian Games, and we've already submitted our proposal to the Southeast Asian Games so that hopefully obstacle sports will be part of the SEA Games next year. We need at least four countries to agree to this. Obviously, Philippines will support, but we need three more. Hopefully, this coming May, this will be decided upon by the committee. And uh, with your support, please, we'd like this sport to, to grow. And we need Everybody here, media included, to be part of this. And that's it. Good noon to everyone. And we all invite you to join the race, to join the other races. And like any other activity, let's prepare for it by coming over to the faculty. Good noon and uh, thank you.